has arrived yet. Yes, he is here in Mpumalanga and he is set to head for the Libombo border post where a lot of people have tested positive for COVID-1900 actually and a lot of counterfeit goods were found by uh, trucks that are coming from Mozambique and normal motor cars that are coming from Mozambique into South Africa. They were carrying those counterfeit goods and in some instances guns were recovered and cars that were being stolen from South Africa and smuggled into Mozambique. That is what has been happening over the holiday period. So the minister is there to see to it that uh, COVID-19 regulations are followed. Home Affairs is processing people as it's expected to. And the fact that there has been a really long line in Mozambique, kilometers and kilometers of cars, people aren't able to be pro processed to get into South Africa. And them being unable to be processed into South Africa it was the fact that uh, the COVID-19 testing line was too long people were coming without a prior test that would make it easy for them to just get to the border post and get tested yes there were plans put in place to sort of mitigate that situation but it didn't work as well it was expected to by yesterday they were left about with about a kilometer for people to be processed into South Africa that means there was a longer line in Mozambique for people coming back to work, people coming back from holidays to be processed into the country, as opposed to people coming from South Africa to Mozambique. You'd remember that the president yesterday, President Cyril Ramaphosa, announced that there's going to be strict rules when it comes to people crossing the border. It's not just anyone. It's people that are going to school, people that are doing work, people that are transporting goods in between the two countries that will be allowed to cross now. Now that's a situation that also needs attention. Spepile, have you uh, been able to interact with some people who are affected by these closures and what's the word on the ground? Yes, we interacted with a few and they said that the situation is bad when you get to the border. You'd remember that a border post itself has become a hotspot for COVID-19. Therefore, it's dangerous for anyone to go there. Those people that are there are there because they are desperate to go to either of these two countries. And when they get tested, a lot of them are found to be positive of COVID-19. That tells you what? It tells you that the situation isn't as good as it's supposed to be at the border post. Post. and people have spent nights and days queuing just to cross to either of the two countries especially if you're coming from Mozambique those people have had to spend nights there and the process is very slow one guy told us that he had to wait for the border to open after it opened it didn't open at 8 or 7 o'clock in the morning it opened at about 10 that's the Mozambican side by 3 o'clock he was only getting to the South African side by five o'clock he was only able to get into his car and drive home he's a local he's from around but he says the situation is appalling at the border pass thank you so much for bringing us that update and we will watch that story uh, in terms of the movement of deputy minister Njabulo Nzuza as he visits visits the, the Bombo border let's take a break